In terms of wearing a mask, our advice is clear that wearing a mask if you don't have inf an infection really reduces the risk almost none, not at all. So we do not advise that. Right now in the United States, people should not be walking around with masks. You're sure of it, because people are listening really no, closely to this. Right now, people should not be walking. There's no reason to be walking around with a mask. And often, there are unintended consequences. People keep fiddling with the mask and they keep touching their face. People tend to leave them on. Uh, they contaminate the, the face mask and then wipe it over something. So it's really not a good idea and doesn't help. There is no evidence that general wearing of face masks by the public who are well affects the spread of the disease in our society. The, the evidence on face masks has always been quite variable, quite weak, quite difficult to know exactly, and there's no real trials on it. When the evidence around the use of masks by the general public, especially uh, outdoors, uh, is, ex is extremely weak. The, the recommendation from SAGE has been, is completely clear, which is that there is weak evidence of a small effect in which a face mask can prevent a source of infection going from somebody who is infected uh, to the people around them. Yes. Well, it was a statement by I the remember. World Health Organization, uh, which was definitely against the wearing of muzzles. A few weeks ago, the World Health Organization did a reverse ferret and changed its mind. And uh, Deborah Cohen, of the medical correspondent Newsnight on the BBC, had an amazing scoop the other day. She actually discovered, and she put it to the WHO, that uh, her contacts with, inside the World Health Organization had told her that the, the position of the WHO on muzzles had been changed because of political pressure, not because of, of medical reasons. Newsnight understands that the World Health Organization committee that reviewed the evidence for the use of face coverings in public didn't back them. But after political lobbying, the WHO now recommends them. As of Monday the 15th of June, face coverings will become mandatory on public transport. We've therefore come to the decision that face coverings should be mandatory in shops and supermarkets.